Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. I love making the mile-long Mexican burger, uh, especially when family or friends come over to watch a sporting event or for a lazy Sunday afternoon. Everybody loves this, and it's very impressive, and it's very easy to do. I'm going to start with three pounds of ground sirloin in a big bowl, and to that, I am going to add one egg, two teaspoons of ground cayenne pepper to give it some nice lift, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to dive right in and mix that all up with my hands. And then we're going to put this in a 9 by 13 roasting pan. Then you want to press it all in so it's evenly distributed. It's almost like you're making a giant meatloaf. And this goes in a 375 degree oven for 40 minutes. While the meat is roasting, we're going to do the hardest part of the recipe, and that is finding something to serve the mile-long Mexican burger on. I happen to have this long piece of cedar plank. That works perfectly for me. I also uh, am going to prepare the bread. I have two loaves of French bread. I'm going to cut the ends off each loaf like that so it can be fitted together like that. And those two end pieces, well, those are for the birds. Then I'm going to slice the bread lengthwise with a serrated knife like this. Done, so I'm going to switch the oven to broil, pull this out, I'm going to top it with about a cup and a half worth of salsa, your favorite salsa. Spread that over there. This is simply tomatoes and onions and garlic and uh, jalapeno peppers and parsley. Very simple. I'm going to top it with some Mexican Chihuahua cheese. Uh, this is it's called Mexican melting cheese. It's kind of Mexico's answer to um, like a Gouda. It's a wonderful cheese to put on top. So I have about a pound of it. So I'm going to put it all over top of this. And this goes under the broiler just for a few minutes until the cheese melts. Perfect. Now I'm going to cut this into three strips. And then we put each strip onto the bread like that. the mile-long Mexican burger. You know, this will serve about 10 people. You don't need any condiments because you have the salsa there already. Everybody loves this.
including me.